Hello, everyone, and how is everyone doing today? My name is Sharice Johnson Moore, and welcome to Entrepreneurial Corners. How are you doing today? I am your hope builder, lifting you out of your sorrow by guiding you to see Christ within through scripture and practical applications. And today, I want to speak to you about what does you know, what must be done, what must be done to get to the next level, right? As entrepreneurs, it is uh, whether you're, you started with money, or you started without money, you decided to, um, you decided to start a business. And, you know, we have so many great ideas, you know, in our heads as creatives of the God above, you know, we have so many great ideas coming from God, downloading our thoughts and okay, maybe I could try this as a business and try that as a business. Right. And some of us like me, you know, I'm all, y'all know me. I'm always going to speak about my own experiences and how I have had to adapt to being an entrepreneur. And I want to say this. I have been in business for since 2015, where I did all my paperwork. I did all my, got my EIN number. I got my uh, name registered with the state. Um, I got my bank account, my business bank account. Um, and, and I got all my paperwork in order, right? I even went and found me a certified public accountant to do my books and to do my taxes, right? And past all, you know, I started with the book and I started with my book, which is this, Coming to Loving Yourself. It is available to you. Uh, through Amazon, Goodreads, Barnes and Nobles, and my website, uh, www.shereesnjohnsonmore.com. And um, it is about my life. And I started started with the book, right? I started with my book. And it took me two and a half years to write, right? So, um, because one thing I was doing was procrastinating. And that is number one, the one thing that we must, that must be done to get to the next level. Stop procrastinating. Okay. You have ideas, you have thoughts, you have visions. Write them down. If you wake up in the middle of the night, always keep your notebook, notepad, something on your nightstand, or even record it in your cell phone. Okay. I record a lot of notes and stuff I have. For my business and my cell phone and I can go back and listen to them or read the notes uh, on my note app. Okay, that's a good one to have um, just to keep you from procrastinating and put a date start if, if it's a if it's a project that you know it's going to take you some time to do put a start date and an end date to it. Okay, that's very important to keep you from procrastinating. Well, you started the project. Like I said, I started my book in 2015. It took me two and a half years to write the book because I would stop, I would start, stop, start, stop, uh, do it for work on it for six months, not work on it for six months. And that, um, and I realized that now that because of my procrastination, I could have put the book out earlier than what it was released. Um, some things I've learned along the way is cross all your T's and dot all your I's to make sure that everything is in order. Make sure everything is in order so it don't come and slap you in the face later, okay? Write down, have a, have, write down your plan, write it down. That's number two. Write it down. Write it down. If it's an idea, if it's a thought, if it's something that you want to add to your product list, um, 
you know, write it down and make it plain. <clears throat> excuse me, I have a cold today. You have to excuse me. So, number one is stop procrastinating. Number two is write it down. Write, write it down. Write, write, write. Okay, I don't care what it is, write it down. Because sometimes we have this thing that we'll forget that we that we want to do something and, and, and God will bring us bring it back to our remembrance that he wants us to do it. And you, and you go through your notes, you're like, oh, yeah, I remember he, I did get that thought. I did have that idea. I did have, you know, you know keep up with your, your list that you write down. Okay. Another thing, number three is, don't worry about who's not supporting you i spoke about this on my instagram account and um i learned about this i mean i spoke about this on my instagram account and i spoke about this i speak about this a lot and i have to remind myself right because i had to try i had to fix my mindset of i had to fix my mindset that I had to keep moving forward in order to, you know, go to the next idea, go to the next uh, thought process. I had to fix my mind of stop worrying about people that's not supporting you. Stop worrying about them, okay, because that is something that will hold you up. It will have you on a stuck mode. And when you are in stuck mode, you just think about that one idea. Why ain't nobody supporting me? Well, just put your stuff out there, do your advertising, um, you know. And um, so, you know, don't worry about the ones that's not supporting you. Worry, keep the ones, worry about the ones that is supporting you. Really not worry about them, but try to keep them informed and keep them, uh, uh, keep them always in your thoughts of okay i have this group of customers or clients and i want to keep them for my next project i want to include them in my next project i want to i've noticed that um <clears throat> um i i it's very seldom that i will follow someone <clears throat> okay it's very seldom i follow a lot of people on social media okay and one thing I have learned is that God gave you that vision, not them. God gave you that vision. And that's, a, that's another thing. Keep your eyes on your prize. Keep your eyes on your prize. Um, you know, take our eye. We have to stop looking at everybody and what they're doing. Stop, you know, well, uh, what this person doing? And, uh, and what did they make today? And, and how did they go about it? And, and okay. Okay. And that was number four. Keep your eyes on your prize. Okay. Keep your eyes on your prize. Um, you know, uh, sometimes we, you know, number one is, is stop procrastinating. Number two, write it down. Number three is, oh my goodness. Number three is uh, stop worrying about, you know, what everybody, what they're not doing. Stop worrying about what the people are not doing. You know, they're not supporting you. Stop worrying about that. Number four is keep your eyes on your prize. Okay. If you pick up information along the way, um, you know, um, you know, that's all that's all good, right? You know, and this is the one that I had to learn recently is put in the work, put in the work. I know I was away for a little while and um, I was away for a little while and I took a vacation and it gave me time to think and, and, and really gather my thoughts about what I needed to do for me, for, for, for to have a clear understanding of what my goals were. And it gave me time to write down my goals for 2023. And this year is my first year of me writing down specific goals for myself, for my business. 
Um, other years passed. I was all willy nilly. I would write it down. Wouldn't go by. Wouldn't do this. I, I this year, I decided to go by a particular list. I want a particular list of goals I want to reach in my business, and certain things I want to do in my business, and I want to accomplish them by a certain day, certain date. Um, and and you know, and the thing is, do the work. That's 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 the main part of the situation. You know, um sometimes I, I say this. <laughs> we say we want all this stuff in our business and we want to make money to pay our bills and we want money to we want money so we can have our get our cars and we want to have money to get our new places and things like that. But what are you doing to put those steps in place in order to move to the next level? And sometimes we just have to put in the work. You got to do the work. Stop all this talking. <clears throat> Excuse me. All this talking about what we want and we're not putting in the work. Because you don't, you know, fake what our works is dead. Okay. I had to learn that. And sometimes when you realize that, you know, you got you know, you realize you got to put in the work. That's number five. Put in the work. Put the work in. Put put it in. Do the work. You make t-shirts. Get up. Some of us have regular, some of, some of us have regular jobs besides just our business, right? If we want to turn our our business into our main stream of income, we have to change some things about our about the way we do things and pick a day. Pick a time. If we work just, if we work nine, we work a regular job Monday through Friday, okay, on Saturday, Sunday, or Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. What are we doing different to move our business into uh, where it can uh, go to the next level, where it can sustain you financially? What are you doing about that? Uh, number six, um, I'm going to say this, and I don't know how y'all going to take this. But everybody ain't for you. Everybody is not in your corner. Everybody is, 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 you know, everybody is not for you to connect with or network with because everybody's work ethic is different. And once you realize you sit down and you talk with a person, you know, that's why I like to network and sit down and, and, and talk with folks and, and tell them, you know, where I can fill out, find out where their head is at. Because a lot of things, the words don't add up to the actions. Just put it straight and simple. Straight, 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 no checks, as, as Steve Harvey would say. Um, you know, find out, find, find out how the person, if you want to connect with someone, if you want to network with someone, if you want to, you know, have a collaboration or things like that, ask questions. Don't just say, oh, yeah, I'm going to do this collaboration. Blah, blah, blah. You don't have no details. No, you know, there, there are rules to networking with other businesses that you want to connect with. There are rules, Okay. I will talk about that on a, 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 the, another episode of Entrepreneur Corners. And it, it's a like a give and take type thing. It's a give, get, it's an ebb and flow, you know, it's a, it's a hustling flow to it. And you, and you have to understand that everybody's business is not for you to connect with. Okay. Everybody's business is not for you to connect with. And um, this is one I do on, uh, you know, so that's number, number seven, I think, number seven. <laughs> um, networking, you know, connecting with other people, networking. And, and like I said, everybody's not for you. Everybody's not for what you're for. Everybody's not, you know, it's, it's you know, and, and you know, that, that's some things that I've learned this past year as far as networking with other companies, businesses, people um, that um, me and them did not have the same mindset or what we, we were not on the same page. And I've had to turn down, you know, turn down some offers and turn down 
um things that were it looked good it looked it good it looked it and sounded good but what what other things came into play when i had to collaborate with the person um you know and advertise put your advertising marketing plan together before you just go off put this on social media and think it's going to be an instant hit i've got my feelings hurt like that a lot of times okay well i thought okay i'm gonna go ahead i got this idea i'm gonna go ahead and put it on social media i'm all right okay da, 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 and it's a total flop because i didn't put any like steps to it okay well i'm show. i'm gonna do this i'm gonna, I'm gonna do this number one i'm gonna do this number two and it where it leads up to advertising is a is a level of things that you have to do in order to draw in your audience of what you're trying to sell everybody's not buying what you offer okay and you can't expect everybody to buy what you're pitching them okay i've learned that um you know so those are some of the things that um i've learned you know what must be done to get to the next level um and start this is a major one start investing in your business you know when it comes to your advertising and marketing advertising marketing is very important for a business such as mine i'm gonna talk about mine i'm talking about i'm talking about mine now i have um my book i have my books i have my t-shirts i have my uh coming to loving yourself baskets i have uh um i have the author's extra sunday coffee mugs i have um this show and uh author's extra sunday i also have i have you know so i have a lot on my plate so i've had to learn how to schedule 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 is so important schedule when to do my recordings schedule when to do live recording schedule when to do my advertising uh for my and also have a podcast so i have a lot on my plate so i have i have had to learn how to schedule myself schedule my day schedule everything i do because the more stuff you add on to your list of stuff you got to do the more time it takes to do that okay i'll give you i'll give an example of my day okay because i have a podcast and i have daily devotional every morning i do daily devotional at four o'clock four thirty five six that time of the morning then during the course of the day um i get to writing out my schedule in my schedule book I know I'm giving y'all a lot this year. Um, I've, I've learned how to journal. I've also learned how to write down my business stuff in my, in my, um, in my, um, you know, I've learned how to write down things that I'm going to do during the course of the day or what I have done, what I plan on doing. You know, I write down, okay, well, this is what I'm going to do for this day. Okay. i give you an example. Um, yesterday yesterday was my day where i made all the headers i made all the flyers i made um uh i did the advertisement for it on all my social media outlets um uh, you know that's that's very time consuming and i also pre-recorded my programs okay and i i have i pre-record them because i wanna i'm this year i'm working on my third book I'm working on my third book this year and i want to have that book published by christmas i want to have the book done by christmas i want to you know how to edit and improve and you know i want to have all, everything done for that book so when i release it you know when christmas come around lord let me see it as my grandma would say um that everything is in order plus with this third book i plan i plan on i plan on doing an audio book a paperback book and a hardback book so that is three different sets of financial obligations i have to save for i have to be prepared to spend the money for a hardback book 
hardback book, a paperback book, and an audio book. I, I, you know, and that's something that's going to be kind of, it, it's, you know, it, it's got to be prepared. It's got to be preparation done for that. It's got to be done. It's got to be completed. It's got so many things to that concept. And, um, you know, it's just, and I want to give you this word of encouragement, entrepreneurs. If you have products, if you have services, and you know somebody in media that is willing um, to let you come on a show, hint, hint, okay, hint, hint, and the and they're not charging you an outrageous price to come and do their program, take advantage of it. That's exposure. Exposure is the most important thing when it comes to your products and services. I don't care if you type in, I don't care if you are a virtual assistant, I don't care if you are a, um, you know, if you got body butters, you sell homemade soaps, candles, soy candles, whatever your thing is, get all the exposure you need because when you step into a medium, medium realm where someone wants you to come on their show and you know, you don't you you never know who's watching you. And and exposure is important because it 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 helps you gain authentic followers. People that are actually uh, authentic. It's very hard to say that in these days with all these fake accounts, all these fake Instagrams, these these fake Facebook pages and things like that, right? But it's good to have where you're authentic and you draw your audience to you to keep them in with your products or your service. And... I'll say this, have your paperwork, have everything in order. So when somebody asks you, well, how much is this or how much is that? Um, you could tell them how much something is and you don't have to guess and you don't have to go look with me. I got to get back to you. No, no. All right. Okay. This is a, like, I, like when I have guests on my show, on this show, I charge a guest $150 for this get on the guest appearance on Entrepreneur Corners because I want them to bring their, bring their A game. I want them to bring their products. I want them to have a that they have your script together, what your business does, uh um things of that nature. You know, we so busy filming and oh, this is what my product is, and this and and, and this is what I have. But you know, do is it is it presentable to your audience? Is it presentable in a commercial form? See, we've gotten away with these, you know, how they say, well, you know, make a commercial and things like that. And, okay, <clears throat> I'll show you the commercial to um, my, um, on my, uh, to my uh, uh, streaming channel. I'll show you, you the commercial for that. Um, be in commercial form, you know, okay, where you got everything set up and, Everything is 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 everything is uh everything is fine, everything is smooth, everything is lovely, you know, and um and sometimes we just have to um how could I say it? be prepared. Be prepared, be prepared, be prepared for uh you know, be prepared for things that we need to do in order to get them done. Be prepared for them in order to get them done. You know, and uh, you know, and and the thing is is that sometimes when you're not prepared, things can go hey wild. They can go hey wild. They can go hey wild. They can they can sometimes go hey wild. You know, and um it is very important that uh, you know, it's very important that you have it all together, you know, uh, and put it, present it, present it, you know, present it in a way that it is conducive for you. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, I, I, I'm trying, I'm, me as a person, I will, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for businesses 
that are ready, willing, and able to advertise their products or services on my shows, uh, the shows are then transferred, that are uploaded to the streaming channel, and I want to give exposure to everyone that is willing, ready, and able to do that in this season, you know, and stop being scared. You know, a video don't take that much time to get made. You know, is my my friend my friend is a videographer named Sharon Thomas, and she has her own uh, graphic arts design business. And she, with the intros and stuff that you, the intros and things that you see for my shows, all of them were done by her. All of them were done by her. And I greatly loved, uh, you know, I greatly, greatly loved her, uh, you know, tenacity and what she did and things of that nature. So I'm going to give you this one. And this is what the advertisement looks like for my streaming channel. Hello everyone and welcome to LBM TV. I am Sharice Johnson Moore, owner and CEO of LBM TV. Here at LBM TV, our objective is to give you programming that will invigorate, motivate, and inspire you. Our programming will provide you with insight, in-depth knowledge and solutions in your daily living. We can be seen on every smart TV, smartphone globally. We're located on C1 Media Smart TV app, Apple TV, Roku TV, Amazon Fire TV, Android TV, and Google TV. So get ready to enjoy a positive, uplifting program for your daily living here at LBM TV where we care about you. That was my commercial for my streaming channel. Okay, so like I said, um, her name is Sharon Thomas and I'm sending her some shout outs. You can find her on Facebook. And her company is entitled Prestige Graphic Designs. Prestige Graphic Designs. And, you know, don't be shy. You got graphic arts design business, girl. You know, y'all doing y'all thing. You know, go ahead. Put yourself out there. Then, then you don't have to, you know, um, you don't have to be like some of the other ones where they keep coming into your DM. Oh, you want this? You want that? I do this for you. I do that. Okay. If you do your advertisement properly, then you won't have to keep doing that to, you know, go into cold, cold DMing people, you know, um, and, uh, you know, she, she has her own plethora of, um, uh, clients and customers. Uh, and I wanted to, you know, put a put a shout out for her, put a shout out in for her because uh, my commercial was not made by her. My commercial was made by Wayne Manning Bass II, the owner of my streaming channel, and he does he he does he he did my logo, he did my uh, the commercial, he did my intro, he did you know he he you know he. He is also, um, you know, he's into media and graphic art designs and things of that nature. And when you find somebody, stick with them. Stop jumping all over the place to get this. To, no, I, I want this. I, stay with one person because you and that person click in your business. If it's graphic art designer, if it's your um, virtual assistant, if it's your uh if it is your uh whatever you may your team say your team your team of uh uh of uh, on employees uh that you have keep them don't shuffle around don't you know okay i can understand people don't want to you know they're not doing their job okay i get it 
I get I saw I solely get it. Uh, but when you got a good one, keep them. Okay. Um, I wanted to say, if you don't have this book, you need to get this book. Okay. It's entitled Coming to Loving Yourself by me, Sharice Johnson Moore. It is available on Amazon, Barnes and Nobles, Goodreads, and on my website, www.sharicenjohnsonmoore.com. And I also have a workbook, 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 workbook. I have a workbook also, also available to coincide with these together. These two books are 28 piece, 28 piece. They was on sale. Y'all should have got it for Christmas because they were half off. It was $24. It was $24 to set the two books together. Now, time to go back to regular prices, $40. Okay. Um, I have some other things that are available. Um, next week, I will be bringing you all of my products and services of what is available from me and my business um i wanted to say if you don't love what you do don't do it if you're just doing it make a quick hustle okay cool that's on you but if you want to you want to go to the next level you got to love what you do and you got to bring it with all you got you might start off with just one product you might start off with one one thing okay now it's good to you know, it's it's good to, um, you know, do what you got to do, and you know, and I I have, I've had my setbacks. Okay, I'm gonna sit here. And I, I'm I'm gonna keep I keep it real with y'all. I have ran into some shysty people. Okay, and the thing is, is I didn't get mad. I was mad. I was mad. And I realized God was God was just basically saying that person ain't for you to work with if that's what they do. Okay. Um, but um when you pay more, you get better quality. I I, I realized that too. When you pay more for what you want, or you search around and you find a person that you want to make your t-shirts, or the person that you want to do your coffee mugs or or you, who you want to design certain things for your business, you know, um, keep them, keep them, because cheap ain't always the good way to go. I'll tell y'all something right now. Um, okay, babies, I love y'all, and I hope you enjoy your day. I hope you enjoy your everything in your business. Put it, you know. Put it first. Put it first. You know, sometimes and, and sometimes that means even you want to go next level. That even means going to a different business to do your stuff, to 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 do your promotional products, to do your uh uh to do your the things that you want to go to the next level with. And um, ain't nothing wrong with leaving. Uh, ain't nothing wrong with leaving other things behind because it does not suit your needs at the moment. Um, we don't have to, don't get mad, don't get upset, just move on. That's a part of us growing, growing as entrepreneurs. We have to learn how to be mature about the situations that are brought before us and learn when to move on to the next, to, to something that is better for you because we can't get stuck right there and say, oh, well, because this happened or I lost money on these mugs or I lost money on these t-shirts or something like that. Hey, isn't that really, your, look, that was a lesson, child. It was a lesson. It was a lesson, okay, and a blessing, okay? So I um, I just want to say thank y'all for coming in today for um, coming in today for Entrepreneur Corners. If you would like to be a guest, I have the information. You can write me at my email address. I am Sharice at ShariceNJohnsonMoore.com or you can call me at 724-570-1153 for further details to be on our Entrepreneur Corners. Or you want to turn around and you want to advertise on my shows, Morning Word and Worship, Let's Talk Sunday, Entrepreneur Corners or Authors Excerpt Sunday. You know, um, come on, sit down. Sit down and talk to me. I, I'm not trying to bust nobody to the white meat. Okay, it's not that expensive. 
Okay. Um, like I said, my next entrepreneurial corners, I will be discussing everything that I bring to the table for 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 my business or what I do. I'll break it down for you and tell you what I what I you know all of what I do. Okay. Um, I'm also looking for those that would like to advertise on my podcast. Okay, podcast, you reach out to more podcasts. Um, you know, podcast ads don't cost that much. It's just one sixty second ad, and you know, it you know it, it runs like depends on where you want to put it in the podcast, and it runs from fifteen dollars to twenty five dollars. Depends on where you put it in the podcast. See, it's not that expensive. It's just one sixty second ad. If you ever listen to my podcast. Uh, Sharice Johnson Moore's podcast, you can catch that podcast on Spotify, Amazon, Music, uh, Audible, uh, uh, Apple, Google. Uh, Let me see. I got to get my book because I I got so many outlets, distribution things right now. Um, Okay. So Anchor is my home. Anchor is where my podcast is at. My podcast is is the home. The home is Anchor. I do it through Anchor. And Anchor distributes it to Breaker, Google, Apple, Overcast, Radio Public, Spotify, Pocket Cast, Verbal, Amazon Music, Audible, Reason, and Castbox. Okay. So you want to advertise, you know your your. You know, want to make a 60 second commercial? Come on, talk to me. I do not, man, child. Reach me in the email, reach me in my email, or you can reach me at my phone number for further details. Okay, it does not cost that much. Not that expensive. All right, babies. So I want to thank y'all again for coming in for <clears throat> uh, Entrepreneur Corners, and I will see you next week. Okay, babies, I will see y'all next week. I will see y'all next week. Bye, babies.